Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida has stepped down from paving way for his to pave way for his successor Ishiba to take over. Kishida's resignation came after he announced in August that it would not seek re-election at the end of his three-year term. Shigeru Ishiba, elected as the leader of the Liberal Democratic Party on Friday, is set to be voted in as the next Prime Minister of Japan in the Parliament later today. In an official statement, Ishiba said he will call for the election as soon as he is sworn in as the country's Prime Minister in Parliament. I think it is important that the new administration is judged by the people of Japan as soon as possible. Once we organize for a snap election, I'd like to call for a general election on October 27th. The announcement on the snap elections that will be held one year before the scheduled date has triggered mixed reactions. I would like for him to have a proper debate with Yoshihiko Noda. That's the first thing. If that happens, then Ishiba's way of thinking will emerge. He will have to clearly set it out in front of the people. I think it's a good thing if we get that from the dissolution of the diet. Honestly, my impression of the ruling Liberal Democratic Party is not that good. I don't think they're being honest and upfront about everything, so I don't really believe them. I can't trust them completely. As Ishiba prepares to take office, all eyes will be on his cabinet announcement later today, which could set the tone for his administration and Japan's future direction. Ishiba has reportedly chosen a lineup of seasoned veterans for his cabinet. The move aims for stability in the government after a tumultuous leadership race. Sources reveal that former Chief Cabinet Secretary Katsunobu Kato will be named the new Finance Minister of Japan, while General Nakatani and Takeshi Iwaya will resume their positions of Defence Minister and Foreign Minister. Ishiba's cabinet is also likely to include Yoshimasa Hayashi as the Chief Cabinet Secretary and Ryosei Akazawa as the State Minister for Finance.